Twinkle eyes and flashing across the sky. Like a swiftest arrow whizzing from a bow. Like a mighty cannonball, he seems to fly. You'll hear about him everywhere you go. The time will come when everyone will know the name of Champion the Wonder That ain't bad bugling, Trooper North. Thank you, Sergeant. Squadron catch on. Fall in. Troopers, prepare them out. Out of the fours, follow me. Oh, hop. Troopers by the right flank. Oh, troopers by the right flank. Oh. Well, Ricky, I haven't had so much fun since my recruit days at Fort Judson. Well, Champ and me are getting better, too, huh, Sarge? Sure are. He's the smartest horse I ever saw, Ricky. He'd make a fine cavalry horse. Good as Trooper was? Better, boy. And after 15 years with old Trooper, that's saying a plenty, believe me. Been practicing up your salute for Hank? Not Hank anymore, Sarge. Lieutenant Elwood. Lieutenant. It'll be the happiest salute I ever threw, son, to my own boy. Well, if we don't hurry, we won't be there to salute him. Hey, stage might get in early. We better be getting the start of the town. Well, thanks, Champ. That was fun, huh? Well, you can go back to your herd. Come on. Howdy, Sandy. Hi, Ray. You getting the place fixed up for Hank's homecoming? Sure am. <coughs> Did I ever show you? Now, this here is Sarge. And this is me. Of course, I never made hiring corporal. <laughs> Guess I told you that before. Only about a hundred times. Well, us old cavalrymen never gets out of the blood. What a day for Sarge. His boy not only in the seventh, but a lieutenant. He ranked major before they put him out to grass. Sarge won't settle for anything less than general. Don't let old leather pants josh you. General or private, Sarge will be happy just as long as Hank's with us, Evan. Say, the stage is about due. We ought to get over there. Jack? Yeah. Found a shack about four or five miles outside of town. We could stand off a posse there and never take a scratch. How does the bank stack up? You can knock it over in about ten minutes, as soon as the stage gets in. You never robbed one in daylight before, Carr. Yes, but we never had a soldier boy's homecoming to help us out before, either. It's all this. Some local heroes coming home. The whole town's waiting to greet them, including the sheriff. Daisy's coming. Dodge oh, gonna miss it. Not if he hurries, he won't. Almost late. 
Raise your mustard, Dodge. Get your salute, Madam Ready, Corporal. Here comes the full lieutenant. Dad. Hank. Where is your uniform? Well, I'm sorry, Dad. I... I'll tell you about it later. Don't blame you, Hank. Me and Sarge didn't wear ours on leave either. Did we, Sarge? Well, I'm not on leave, Sheriff. I resigned my commission, Dad. Resigned your commission? Mm -hmm. You got some kind of trouble? <laughs> no. Then what in tarnation? Easy, Sarge. But, but why, Hank? Oh, for a very good reason, Ricky. One that I know you'll understand, Dad. Let's hear it. Well, all my life, you've taught me to love animals, respect them. Well, during the Indian campaigns, I had three horses shot out from under me. So you got scared and quit? No. But after those campaigns, I entered into a training class. I became a veterinarian. A horse doctor? And I thought you had the makings of a soldier. Can I help it if I'd rather patch them up than see them get killed? Uh, a horse doctor. But that... Maybe I can make him see it easy on you. Now, hold on, Doc. You stay here, Ricky. Take this horse next to mine, Ricky. Right? if I didn't run right into it. You'll be all right. Sure. You're in command, Sergeant. I deputize you till they get a new sheriff. Ray. He's dead, Sandy. He deputized me. I'll take the prisoner. All right, Sarge. On your horse, mister. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, General. Dad. We've got a spare bunk out at the ranch, Hank. Why don't you pick up your stuff in town and come stay with us till you get this ironed out? If it can be ironed out. Thanks, Sandy. Sarge asked Ricky to play taps for Ray.
knew what a great shock it'd be to him, Sandy, but I just couldn't go on. You see, when men go into battle, well, they do it for a purpose. But horses, they get maimed and killed for some reason they know nothing about. I wouldn't like to ride champ in a battle either, and maybe have him get killed. And I'm not a coward, am I, Uncle Sandy? Well, of course not. Why? Well, it's hard to say Hank was, because he didn't like to see horses get hurt. I guess I'm on Hank's side, but... But I like Sarge, too. Well, everybody does. Sandy, I'm going to ride into town and see Dad. I'm responsible for this breakup. I try to do everything I can to patch it up. Might be a good idea, Hank. He's had time to cool off now. Oh, Ricky, you better keep your fingers crossed. Maybe tomorrow we'll all be riding cavalry drill together. Do you think Sergeant like that, Trooper North? I know he would. Lieutenant? Bye, Sandy. Tom? I sure did. Found out what happened to Jack. I got him in jail. You almost sound glad it was my brother. He isn't. Now, don't you worry about Jack. He'll get out and easy. Just because you got away pulling that trick with the sheriff in Black Bluff, there's no sign this sheriff will fall for the same trick. Yes, but this sheriff is dead. He deputized that old sergeant we saw in town. Jack won't have any trouble talking the old boy into bringing him out here. And if he does have trouble? Jack is in here by sunup. We'll go in and get him out. You're wasting your time waiting for a jailbreak, General. They ain't coming. As far as they're concerned, I can rot here. Look, I didn't shoot your friend, General. It was Mitch. I'm not concerned with which one of you pulled the trigger. Well, I am. I'll have to swing for it. Listen, I know where they're holed up. I'll lead you right to them. You can get the drop on them while they're sleeping. Look, handcuff me. Take your rifle with us. What chance would I have to double cross you? I don't make deals with murderers. <laughs> I give up, Sergeant. Don't you? Get out. I've said all I have to say to you. All right. That makes it my turn. You think I'll let you down? You made a fool out of me. Only because you're too bullheaded to listen. I quit the cavalry because part of it didn't make sense to me. You did him a favor. There's no room in the seventh for cowards. Men going into battle is one thing. Killing horses is another. That's something you forgot to teach me. Get up. Dad, I'm sorry you feel this way. But I'm even sorrier there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Just like my brother. What about your brother? He doesn't think about anybody but himself. But the last thing he'd do is to come in here to help me. You know, the sooner we get started, the sooner you get the right man. And we can get some sleep, General. We should have been doing this last night. We'll have to do some hard riding now. About another hour or so, they'll be on their way. I'll ride on your horse. Jack didn't talk his way out of it. You better ride in and get him out. In daylight? Doesn't make any difference. We do it in the daylight, they won't be expecting us. If we'll wait till night, they will. They we're probably waiting for us last night. Let's go. Cool. want Trooper killed in battle either. Oh gosh, forgot to raise the flag.
Who else would be blowing the bugle except that sergeant? Let's have a look. Ricky's a little late getting that flag up. Hank, maybe if I had a talk with Sarge. No, Sandy, he's made up his mind, and so have I. Best thing for me to do is to move on. Yeah, but we need a vet here as much as they do in Canyon City. Oh, uh, maybe. Dad would never see it that way. If I stayed in town, he'd think I was doing it just to spite him. Unless he sees me, soon he'll get rid of his bitterness. Well, I'll ride with you as far as town, anyway. The bank robbers! The young Scalloway. <laughs> Salute and get it over with, General. We're almost there. We're making a stop first. This way out. Come on, Champ. Hurry it up, will you? He, he's not used to Barnes. He just doesn't like them. We don't care what he's used to. Get him in there. Come on, Champ. Please. Sure glad you're here. Uh, get the key off the general, will you? All right, toss them over. Go, Trooper! He's still at it. He's in trouble, Sandy. What do you mean, trouble? He's blowing boots and saddles. It could be a call for help. There's no time to shut him up. Let's get the keys and get out of here.
find the key. Let's get to the horses. I'll take care of him, Hank. Easy, boy. Easy. Ooh. Ricky, get my medicine bag off the saddle. Is it bad, son? Well, I wouldn't know until I can get the bullet out. I'll do all I can, Dad. You've got a son any father would be proud of. Yeah, give him a little time to mend. He'll be as good as new. Oh, boy. Now, Trooper ain't the only one with some mending to do. Can you forgive me, son? I sure can, Dad. <laughs> Thank you. 
Jingle eyes and flashing across the sky. Like a swiftest arrow whizzing from a bow. Like a mighty cannonball, he seems to fly. You'll hear about him everywhere you go. The time will come when everyone will know the name of Champion the Wonder. That ain't bad bugling, Trooper North. Thank you, Sergeant. Squadron Tetron, fall in. <laughs> Troopers, prepare them out. Out of the floors. Follow me. Oh, hop. Troopers by the right flank. Oh, troopers by the right flank. Oh. Well, Ricky, I haven't had so much fun since my recruit days at Fort Judson. Well, Champ and me are getting better, too, huh, Sarge? Sure are. He's the smartest horse I ever saw, Ricky. He'd make a fine cavalry horse. Good as Trooper was? Better, boy. And after 15 years with old Trooper, that's saying a plenty, believe me. Been practicing up your salute for Hank? Not Hank anymore, Sarge. Lieutenant Elwood. Lieutenant. It'll be the happiest salute I ever threw, son, to my own boy. Well, if we don't hurry, we won't be there.